Hi there, welcome to Shopcast number 20. This one is mostly about county yarn, which I will talk to you about in a few moments. Um, but first I wanted to show off my latest garment. Let me tilt that down just a little bit. I'm not going to stand up and rattle the chair this time. Um, for milestones, this is podcast number 20, and this is my first milestone of doing a scoop neck shirt from the top down. So you can see I've got raglan seams here and in the back, and I've just started doing the front neckline instead of coming all the way across with stitches right away, um, which my Vanda hoodie has, say if you've been reading knit scene. Um, instead, I've just kept this straight and even and went back and forth, and then I'm slowly building out a scoop neckline. It looks nasty right now, but I'm going to be picking up stitches and doing ribbing on it. You'll probably get to watch me working on it over the next week or so. And it'll either be self-published or maybe put towards a magazine online or in print, and we'll see. But someday you too can follow my patterns and make a scoop neck shirt for yourself. Um, I'm having a great time. The yarn I'm using is not something we carry, but I'm going to show it to you anyways because this is a different way that yarn comes. So this is a cone of Highland yarn. It's from the same people that bring us our Shetland sock yarn, um, which isn't just for socks, but for any fingering weight if you like having a little bit more of a sturdy yarn is a nice way to talk about this stuff. Um, when it comes in cones like this, instead of being wound into skeins, skein, cone, the general purpose is for this to be used by weavers to make their, um, <laughs> to warp their looms or to use this as a, as a weft once they have it all set up and they're ready to go. It's kept in a cone because it's easier to take large amounts for doing a large weaving project and it also has a different feeling so I'll show you. Hard to tell on the screen but really what this is, it's really flat. There's not a whole lot of fuzz to it. It has a little bit of processing oil still in it, or grease, um, which helps it retain a little bit more strength during the weaving process. And what this means is that while I'm knitting it, it's a little bit rougher on my hands. The actual fabric right now doesn't feel so nice, but once I'm finished with it, I throw it in the wash, um, use a little bit more of a heavier, aggressive scouring detergent than I normally would, and that removes the grease and lets it fluff up, and then it's awesome. The benefits of working with cones is that there's far less ends, especially if you're making a larger sweater, so there's not so many knots to deal with or splicing opportunities. Um, and it's just nice to kind of sit there and just go and go and go and go and go and not have to prep by winding all of your skeins into balls first or having your balls roll, roll around all over the place. So I'm enjoying this. Um, it's a worsted weight. If you did want to special order something like the Highland, you can talk to Francesca about it. Um, this particular company, their shipping takes a little bit longer, and we don't order that often through the year, so you might not see it right away, but if you're a patient person and you want to play with some of their gorgeous tweed colors, you can certainly set that up. Okay, the exciting delivery we got is this stuff. Um, and actually, I'll show you the new color first. So this is County, and I was doing a little bit of research online to find out how it's pronounced. It's, um, what's the word? Distributed mostly through Denmark but it's, it's an Estonian yarn, an Estonian designer, and the word is her last name, so it doesn't mean anything. You don't use the Denmark pronunciation, guys. She says it's pronounced like the word cow followed by the word knee, so county. And this color, this is color EX. Let me show you the tag. So unlike any other yarn in our shop, we don't have price tags on these ones because they're sold to us by weight. So we get a couple thousand kilograms, well, maybe not that much, but many, many grams of yarn, and we are billed by that. So when we have 150 grams, we will charge you 13 cents per gram per ball, just so you are being charged fairly and we are being charged fairly. For instance, this one, focus, is 140 grams, so it would be a little bit less. The cool thing about County, if you haven't seen it before, is that the yarn is stuck on the outside. I'll show you this end. it has all these colors that slowly, slowly, slowly change. And if you get one of the multicolored ones like this, this changes from yellow to orangey to purpley and back. And I can show you, these are three different balls of the same colorway. They all just happen to be in different phases of the rainbow. You can tell on this front one um, exactly how it starts fading from one color into the next. And what this does is it makes really cool projects like these two. This is the Coquette. It's from Nitty.com. It is a free pattern online. 
and if you're using county, it starts at one color and slowly, gradually, eventually fades into phantom by the end. The cool thing about doing coquette, it has these little ripples in here that are made by doing short rows. And let's see if I can find you one. Okay, so there, there's one you can see. You've got a, a line coming in that's fairly rusty, and then when you stop and do the short row, it does a lot more of the transition to the rust, so the next line going back is quite yellow. So it's not so much of a fade from here to here, because a lot of the fading is being taken up in the back and forth section there. But it's cool, hey? It makes one of these fun, awesome, roughly and delightful neck warming scarves that have been so popular lately. And it's not boring knitting, and you get to play with different needle sizes to make things go big and small. And it's cool. I'll have a link for it at the end of the shop cast. And this just takes one ball. And if you're not so much into the ruffles, but you still like the effect, this is called, if you were doing it in, in garter stitch, just knitting every single row, it would be called Bactus. And if you're doing it in stockinette like this, uh, the pattern is called Icarus or Icarius. Um, and it, again, went through one of the other colorways. This one goes from purple into dark black into lighter grays, and then back into the purples again. Nice, hey? And again, um, so the way this is working is you weigh your ball, and when you get halfway through the weight of your ball, so if it was 150 grams, and I've knit 75 grams of increases, I'm then going to start decreasing again and get back to the other side. So this is our halfway point in the ball. And just another one, like another one of these big, long, loopy, tie a little knot in the tail if you wanted to keep it in place, or if you are less of a looping person and more of a dangling person, longer dangles. And I will say that if you are someone who has issues with prickling yarn, this is not perhaps the yarn for a scarf for you, but it does make some other really cool things. It felts well if you wanted to do some color work bags or um, a cardigan that you would be wearing over something else. There are some awesome cardigan patterns. I think I'm going to put a link to Ravelry to the county page, and if you look on all the projects under the, uh, the tag of Effect Garn, which is what this is called, you'll see all the beautiful, beautiful projects that people have made. The Yarn Harlot is one who kind of kicked off the craze when she posted photos of one of her sweaters that used the rainbow colorway and changes from uh, yellow, red, blue, green, purple, whatever. Um, and the opposite color in the stranded color work is also doing the rainbows, but slowly or in a different order. And it's a really cool effect. It's sort of like doing really intricate colored stranded work, but you're only ever using the same two yarns from the same ball, and the balls are doing all the work for you. It's lovely. Okay, a couple more colors to show you. This one is more of their semi-solid or tonal version, so that just has all sorts of blues. It has a... it goes to a fairly... Um, true medium sky blue and then goes into grayed out blues and it's a little bit on the greener side in a couple spots. And this one is just pure drama. This is uh, red and black all the way through. So it goes from a bright red into slightly blacker red into black and then back out again. So a couple two tones for that. We have the sample strands. So that rainbow one that I was talking about. Um, the balls are huge, so by the time it actually got this far, you wouldn't get this in a, in a wrist warmer. If I had done a wrist warmer, I'd probably only get through the blues and maybe halfway through the purples. If I was doing a full width adult sweater, I would be getting about this gradation as I went through. But they are all of colors we have, probably most of these in stock right now. And the way to tell what you're looking for is on the tag, there'll be letters, and then you just look for the corresponding letters uh, on the ball. So um, these that I grabbed we are actually new ones that we don't have samples for yet. So in this case you just have to look in the center of the ball to see what they look like. But if you do look enjoy the way these ones look, you can go ahead and either ask us for help if you need to, or go hunting through the balls on the shelf to find the uh, ball number that matches the strip. Um, it is machine washable. It is 13 cents per gram, which means that one of these balls tends to go between about 18 to $22 per ball. Um, adult sweater, for an average size adult, you'd probably need three, and that would give you enough to have a little bit of extra in case. If I was doing something for me, I would get four or five if I wanted insurance or if I wanted to do a hood. One is certainly enough to do one of these. 
um, or to do I just lost my light there. Uh, to do a scarf or do, to do hand warmers or to do a hat. And it's uh, machine wash. No, nope, sorry. It's not machine washable. It will felt. And if you're trying to do that, it has awesome results. And it's lovely. So I think I'm out of things to tell you about county. But come on by and you can see all of the yummy, yummy, delicious county. If you give us a day or two, we'll probably have all the new stock out of the giant box from Estonia and up onto the shelves. And you can see it for yourself. Okay, that's it. Uh, drop me a line on Three Bags Full on Facebook, Three Bags Full Canada, Facebook and YouTube, or 3BF on Twitter. My name is Krista. Have a lovely evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.